Oh, welcome on back, everyone. To the dark pictures now. The devil in me. Our run through of the whole anthology of the dark pictures. We have been running through every single one of them. We have went through the man of Medan. Little Hope. Just got done with House of Ashes. And now we are on the devil in me. Um, if you haven't seen the House of Ashes, I'll put a little bumper up there on top, the start of it, and let you run through that one. But today we start The Devil in Me. A group of documentary filmmakers receive a mysterious invite to a replica of the murder castle of H.H. Holmes, America's first serial killer. They soon discover that they're being watched and there is much more at stake than their viewing figures. This one I'm kind of really uh, excited to play. Um, I've never played it before. I am a horror man, to say the least. <laughs> I watch a lot of horror, and I have watched documentaries on H.H. H. Holmes, so I know a lot about him as well. Oh, wow, it actually does look like the hotel, too. That's crazy. But this is going to be interesting, and uh, it should, if, if it lives up to H.H. H. Holmes, it should be a little gruesome, so... We're gonna we're gonna see how it is here. We're gonna do forgiving as usual, so we get the regular story here, and uh, no hard button pushing and whatnot, so we can enjoy the story. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Some decisions may save some lives. You may murder some. The wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Wow, what does this take uh, place Whatever back in the day? The most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> Isn't this grand? As advertised, very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again. As always, I'm going to try not to talk during their talking. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Let's not wait till tomorrow morning. Let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out, it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. 
First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Running and swift. Now, what did I forget to bring? Pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? Probably uh, jewelry from dead bodies, no less. Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? the heartbeats back again we'll be doing the old heartbeat business
That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. This place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. Mercy, okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? <sighs> Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Find the shaving. There's no like speed walking or anything. I can't speed walk at all right now. Unless there's another. Oh, there it is. I guess that's a speed hmm. walk. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. What?
Whatever that is. Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? Back already? You know, this tub is awfully big. I think there might be room for another body. Oh. Hmm, that's nice. Ow. You don't know your own strength. Easy, dear. Jeff, that hurts. Hello, my dear. <laughs> We don't want to disturb the other guests. I really thought you'd have a little more pride in you. What are you doing? If you've touched Maria... You're a bit late with that sentiment, good sir. Is there a problem, sir? Like no escape from this place. In the hotel, there are so many booby traps and places that just end abruptly. It's, it's really weird how he architect the whole place. It's definitely worth looking up and looking all about it. <laughs> Simply die. It's so I say, popular. good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Here we go.
Won't you spare me over till another Here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions, delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread, the way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. Oh, well, that's something new. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket of House. Uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, 
had a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've done a key grip and lighting test for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement, cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, AKA Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally, the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city. The number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer and possibly the worst. Ever. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh... I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m., be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind I know, it. You're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? 
Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. This is going to be great, guys. Got to keep hitting the controller so you know don't go to sleep. Exactly. <laughs> no surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich. He's a recluse. He's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that may share information that could affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. You said that in Topeka. Due to Sir Rich, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. Jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. And we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. What? He can run? This is the first time I've ever seen a run. Run it. Like every other Dark Pictures video game, you could like power walk and that's about it. Like you can't run run. This is the first one you can actually run. Jesus, that is loud. Man. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... It doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm gonna say we These cliffs are subject to erosion. Yeah. They may this collapse into the water. Lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know, some of the crew can be challenging. 
Back to work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. Must have been quite a storm. Memory of victims of the great storm of May 1st, 1907. 187 lives were lost. You going the right way? There ain't nothing over there, is there? My luck there is. Nothing. Because we can't forget about those um coins. I don't I don't know where they're gonna be. I've never seen them before. This is actually uh the first time I ever heard of them in a, a dark pictures game, so this way? I'd like to take a couple weeks off and go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that concerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post tomorrow. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. Hello. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin. You know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right. That's probably it. Looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly. We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. This thing hasn't been manned in ages. Why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. Read, please. Keep it up, team. This should be the final week. Last night's foghorn test was successful. Looks like the automation is all up and running. We'll do one more final trial today, then we can pack away the kit. So there's nothing else in here? That was it? 
Yes. Army crawl. We got an army crawl. <laughs> This looks pretty old. What's that? Just some old coin. Find a penny, pick it up. So those are the uh, small coins Sorry, that you, you collect. Time. So again, maybe they're in boxes really the whole entire time? Today. Maybe. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. That's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> Christ, what the hell is that? Nice to meet you, too. Whatever that was, I guess it was a dog, maybe? Just need some fresh sheets. Some nice drapes. And six gallons of sanitizer. What in God's name is this? Charlie, I'm you getting an uneasy. What? Th Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. 
Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, there's our ride. Come on, we better get back. Is that him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that... Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Just get on a boat, no nothing, not talked about anything, just go across the lake with a stranger. It's like we're on our way to Alcatraz and we don't even know who with. <laughs> Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe, but we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt, so please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lonnie Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously.
is to do meth is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to go look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah, oh, oh, oh my, damn it. What happened? You okay? Oh. Did you tip over your ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh my God, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Explore the island. Hey, can I ask you something? <laughs> Look at how they answer, run. You know, without you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Uh, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. Nice. I guess they're not all in little tin cans. scramble watch your head we're gonna have to keep our eye out then they could be anywhere definitely probably won't get them all but at least try Stuff like that, like, I feel like that's where uh, a great walkthrough comes in, you know, to tell you where every little piece is and stuff like that. There's other uh, content creators that eat, breathe, and uh, shit for that kind of stuff. He could have told us to dress for a trek. not to fall and die i don't want to see mark cry thanks for the concern really oh this goes straight through thing back there wonder where this goes. It's straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? The world may never know. here on this island Shh. get down with your family my wife is she died <laughs> mr dumet is this an actual palm tree was this shipped into the island i i don't think so i didn't even see it Not until like the last second of course when the scene and thing up by the fence
Oh. wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. Can't go back. I want to keep that in mind uh, when you do your own playthrough. Make sure you go to the right first before you go left. Obviously, this is my first time playing a game, so I don't know where everything is. <laughs> this reminds me of shit summer camps. car moving and stop it here we'll be able to get across so there's a ladder that's locked you see the control panel it's trashed I don't even think there's power. Oh, wow, that one was more. So they're not all the same currency? Some have more than others? What about over there? I wonder if you jump off the other side. Okay, hey, that one goes that way. Well, 
that ain't it. You're supposed to go... What I just did, though. Unless you skip the, the lines. Yeah, because it goes the whole way... I guess you do. last uh, bit of that fuse box you could have the bottom two go to the last one on the bottom right what's through here hear that Oh, God, that's so much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. You found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Relax, Mark. Ooh, that serious drop. You good? Oh, man. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it, though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable ish. Come on, I'll help.
That's it. Look, it's fine. No, okay. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. <sighs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. This, wow, Mr. Dumas, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. wonder who you are. What are you doing? I... I saw a little girl. Up there. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Man, this is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's... Amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out and about all day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, his staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, 
Yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a haul, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media post. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows where you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't, cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Ugh. I know. Where'd it go? Uh. It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? You okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because, good job. <sighs> you sure you're okay? Because... Yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I... I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but... Dust and allergies and... I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant, decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones. A hint of citrus. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Let's be flirtatious. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute thing. Really? 
Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really? Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. Let's move it. I got a feeling we're being watched for the most part too. What are you doing? I, oh my God, I, uh, <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, you bitch. I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh, sorry, sorry. Unlocked a special Who feature. <sighs> Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <laughs> Be continued then? Yes, definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. Where the hell are they going? Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. Old school. You old school guys. 
I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumas. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient... You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Alrighty, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. We're going to continue right at this spot on the next one. I thank you all for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell. Let me know down below what you like about the story so far and what you don't like. There's a lot of new uh, mechanics I'm noticing in this one compared to others. So I will see you all on the next one. Have a good rest of your day. And I am out of here.